and every week we had to produce an essay. But for some reason or other, I began to develop uh, resistance against these essays. And I remember this was the last essay I wrote, and I stayed up till about two or three in the morning, trying to push through this barrier to write my essay. And finally, I just had to uh, give up and went to bed. And I immediately dreamed I was back at my table. And in my dream, as I sat at my table over my essay, the door opened. And round the side of the door came the head of a fox, the height of a man. And I watched him. He came down the stair, and he was a man. He was a small man, but he was a fox. So he was just a fox on his hind legs, walking like a man. And as he came across the room towards me, I saw that he was, it was as if he'd come out of a furnace. His whole body was one burn. He put out his hand, and it was a human hand, but it was all burned. The hand was just as burned as the rest of his body, so it was blackened and cracked and bleeding and he put his hand on the page and lifted it off and there was a blood print of his hand on the page and as he put it down he said you have to stop this you're destroying us that dream is easy to interpret um, in that he felt that the kind of animal dynamism that he wanted to get into his poetry was not something to do with the intellect primarily, uh, not to do with the intellectual um, inspection, analysis and study of English literature. I imagine this midnight moment's forest. Something else is alive beside the clock's loneliness and this blank page where my fingers move. Through the window I see no star, something more near, though deeper within darkness, is entering the loneliness. Cold, delicately as the dark snow, a fox's nose touches twig, leaf. Two eyes serve a movement that now and again now, and now, and now, sets neat prints into the snow between trees, and warily a lame shadow legs by stump and in hollow, of a body that is bold to come across clearings, an eye, a widening, deepening greenness, brilliantly, concentratedly coming about its own business, till with a sudden sharp, hot stink of fox, it enters the dark hole of the head, the window is starless still, the clock ticks, the page is printed. <laughs> 